guys. Uh, 23 mini moves here. Triple H outdoors. Um, I know it's been a while since I made a video, like eight months or something like that, but or maybe six months. I don't really know. But anyway, I've been busy with sports and uh, school, and just haven't really got around to the videos. I did make hunting videos this year, but I didn't kill nothing. I'm not really going to post any of those up. It's just deer walking around. So, anyway. But anyway, today I'm going to show you how to make a drop line slash limb line. You can use uh, yo-yos and not have to go to the trouble of making these. But yo-yos, I found, set the hook too easy. And, like, a fish just bumps it. It, like, sends it up. And anyway, here's how to make that. Alright, here are some of the uh, supplies that you will need to make a drop line, dock line, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to go first off. The most probably needed thing would be you're going to need um, nylon twine. It must be nylon, or you could use monofilament or braid, but probably for catfish, you're going to be using nylon more. You can use two different sizes. Um, for the leader, you can use uh, a smaller size, which you probably will want to. And for the drop, probably a uh, bigger size. But you can go with the same size, it don't matter. But um, the reason you need a smaller size is depending on the hook size. Because it will need to double up to fit through the eye of the hook. And onto the hooks. It doesn't really matter what size hook you use, but I do prefer that it be a um, circle hook if you're using live bait or cut bait or something. <coughs> or you can use treble hooks too, which I'll get on to that in a minute. You can also use whatever these are called, I'm not actually sure, but you can use these. I think this is a 5 odd or 6 odd, I'm not sure, I just found this hook. But anyway. Circle hooks. Um, we use these for jug lines. These are seven knots. Um, this is, I'm actually not sure what the brand is, but this is like laser sharp, I think. Basically, the exact same hook. I mean, literally, they are. Same eye size. Same, like, um, offset sort of uh, just this one is a little sharper than this one and but this one's also stainless steel so it's better but the have they have really big eyes on them and we use these for drug lines because you can double up the top of uh, nylon twine that we use into these eyes but anyway you can use those for drop lines if you want but what I use is a, I believe they're called octopus circle hooks. I don't really know, but the eyes are pretty small. That's the only reason I use this smaller white stuff. I normally use the in-between size of this line and this line. Um, but anyway, uh, these ones are super, super sharp. I'm like not even lying, those are probably the sharpest hooks I've ever seen in my entire life. But, uh, let's see if we can focus. These are really good hooks. And I do have the exact same one as this hook. This is 7 aught, by the way. I didn't say that. Um, in a 6 aught, which has pretty much the same eye. Just, and it's pretty much the same thickness get that a little closer but it is a smaller hook because it'll fit inside of the 7 on but it is the exact same hook or you can eat use this might be the octopus circle hook I'm not sure that might be some other brand but this one if it'll focus is uh, a really I don't know I'm not too sure about these ones I'm pretty sure you could probably catch fish on them but they look tiny to me compared to 
these, I mean, they literally fit inside of them, and they're 7 aughts. But they're the same, same thickness, it's just smaller eyes on this one. So we use these. And these ain't even offset, so these ain't really the best hooks to use. But anyway, you can use whichever ones you prefer, whichever one's cheapest, or whatever, you know, whatever you wanted to go by. Or you can also use a treble hook. This is like size 4 or something, 4 out maybe, I'm not sure. Um, it, like if you're using livers or stink bait or something like that, but I don't recommend stink bait. Um, you will need a big barrel swivel. I guess you could go with this size, but I wouldn't because that needs this line needs to double up through it anyway. But anyway, you, um, not for sure what size these are. These might be like number three or something. One, no, these are one aughts. Yeah, I remember that now. But anyway, and you will need a egg sinker. This needs to also slide over that line. Or you can use... Let me get it. One of these two. Just make a little loop and tie it on there. But anyway, I'm pretty sure you can figure that out. But anyway, how to make it. Um, like I said, take your line and burn both ends which I've burnt this end and this end which I've already did a step ahead of time anyway but I did burn it um, you do need to burn these where they will, will not fray because that would be pretty bad if you would lose a fish by it fraying but anyway on one end of your line you will need to tie a loop in it just like so all you do is you just like double up your line I've showed you how to do this in a previous video but I'll show you again and then just like wrap it around your finger and push it through that big opening and then pull it tight but I'm not going to do that but anyway um, I've skipped a step here anyway but what you most importantly is measure out um, how deep you need it. They really don't need to be on the bottom, but you can make it on the bottom if you want. It's your preference, but it doesn't matter. But here's step three. Um, your next step will be um, sliding on your weight and tying on your swivel. Sliding on your weight can be a sketchy little process because sometimes your weight, uh, um, your weight holes aren't as big as the diameter of your string. So I kind of had to bore those out with a knife, which probably ruined the knife, but oh well. Anyway, um, but anyway, yeah, it's kind of self-explanatory. Just fit it on there, and yeah. Anyway, after you do that don't need to go into big detail on that um it's tying on your swivel it doesn't really matter how you tie it on you can just tie a big loop in it and double it up feed it through the eye bring the whole loop around behind this just tie a couple knot knots on it or you can just you know really any way you want to depends on what kind of i mean if you're using fishing line just do fishing line or fishing knot and tie it on there, but I'm gonna do a Palmer knot. I've never really done this. I practiced before this video actually because I forgot to slide on the weight before I made this video, and yeah, so I had to delete that scene. Anyway, the way you're going to tie a Palmer knot is you're going to double up your line. Feed it through the eye here. Not don't pull it all the way through, obviously. And you're going to take this one and circle it on around. And then you're going to go through take this and go through that little hole right there. 
and then once you do that, do not pull it tight. You're going to take the whole swivel and put it through this big loop here. And then once you do that, then you can pull it tight and do whatever you want with it, which would basically be pull it tight. Anyway, and you can cut that off and reburn it, or you can just leave it that long, which I'm probably going to cut it off after this video and reburn it, but I'm not going to do that on video. But there is your main line up to the swivel, and then your weight's going to stop right there. Which, I mean, you don't need a weight that's not mandatory if you're using like cut bait or something because it's not going to be swimming around. But if you're using like live bait, you might need a weight. I mean, I don't really know, it doesn't really matter, but I use weights, so that's just how I do things. But anyway, next I'm going to tie the leader. Okay, tying this leader. You've seen this video probably maybe two or three times. I'm going to show you again. And if you don't want to see it, just skip ahead a little bit. But anyway, um, what you're going to do is burn both ends, um, tie a knot in each end of the line. Like so, and sorry if I'm getting out of camera, I'm trying to watch my not, not the screen. Come on, anyway, okay, here we go, and like so, which these are very important. You're probably going to think this is going to break when you see this leader, I mean, I could probably tie this onto this boat. This is a boat, by the way, and uh, the dock, and it probably wouldn't break it. Well, I mean, obviously it would break it, but, you know. <laughs> anyway, and then you're going to just tie a knot, or tie these two together. Dang, sorry. You're going to tie these two together like you would anyway. You're just going to go, you're going to flop it under, and then you're going to... Just cross them, pull it through, and then you're going to, once you do this, you are going to want to make sure that the knots are as close as possible to the main big knot. So, if it might need adjusting, you can adjust it. It's not really that hard. Well, I'm getting way too close to the camera. Anyway. Dang it. Anyway, right there is what it should kind of look like. I know it's white string and a white background. Maybe this will help. Helped a little. Anyway, it's just like pretty much it'll look like one big giant knot. Oh, man, that's not breaking. This will not break. We have caught a 31 and 35 pound catfish on it. It didn't break. So, trust your stuff. Anyway, once you get that, oh, by the way, before you tie this, I know I should have said it before, but anyway, you get to about one and a half to two foot uh, of line before you do that to where it'll make a nice little leader. And here's when coming to the point where you add your hook. Like I said, I use the, whatever these are called, octopus circle hooks or something, um, seven aughts. Because they're seven aughts, and this little white line, which I need to get rid of is why I'm using it, and the other stuff is for our jug lines, so I don't want to use it. Uh, we'll double up through that eye. Okay, I've got it doubled up through, and you're just going to slide it on down your line, stick it back through there, and pull that tight. That will never come 
off. Because it is like trapped inside the line, sort of. I'm not sure really how to explain it, but you get the gist. Anyway, um, there's your leader with the hook attached to it. Now, um, putting it onto the main line, I'm not going to make a separate little video thing about it, but you just take your swivel here. You're going to double this up. And you're going to slide it on through the eye of your swivel. And then just pull that all the way to that knot. It gives you a lot of room. And then pull your hook through that little loop as you just seen that I did and pull it tight and there you go there is your swivel in the middle with a leader and a hook and your weight which is down here somewhere right there okay let's say you are at a dock and they have these little um, tie off things on the dock or your boat's tied up and you can and your boat has these um, you can you can get it and you got the big loop tied into it and you just feed it right underneath there and you can pull it tight and put it around each little whatever those are called <laughs> arms I guess and then pull it tight and that will never come off and yeah there you go well guys that's the end of the video I hope uh, you learned something from it uh, drop lining and limb lining is really fun uh, it's pretty dead gum fun walking up and pulling on that line and there would be a fish attached to the end of it pulling on it but it's a good way to catch food uh, to have your fish fry uh, or if you just want to catch them and just for the fun of it, to look at them and throw them back that's fun too but anyway that is how you make it or that's how I make it um, I'll put another video up uh, it'll be somewhere in the screen of my buddy Traces of Laces he has a good uh, drop line video and they do it different than I do which uh, works just as well because he caught, I don't know, 10, 15 pounders off of his too. So, yeah, um, like I said, I'll have a video soon of drop lines, checking them. And uh, if you have any comments, just comment. And thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. See you later.